These are all photos of Bill's COVID journey. I started taking pictures the very first day that he was in the emergency room. Pictures are taken to remember our trips through life. That guy is pre-COVID pre Bill Phillips. For Bill and Maria and, uh, Phillips, these memories before. are difficult to look back on. And this is Bill after COVID. Her husband Bill, a former fitness coach, is leaving St. Anthony Hospital 70 pounds lighter after COVID-19 almost killed him. Having to see Bill go from this person who's so strong and full of life and happy to this person that can barely stand up. And it didn't help that I could bench press 300 pounds or run a mile straight up a hill. I made a mistake. I thought that since I had COVID in January of 2020 that I was immune to it. A test found he had antibodies, so he decided to not get the vaccine. Then he caught COVID again this June. So sick the second time, he went to the ER. I'm pretty sure he, the doctor said, you have two choices. We can either intubate him now or he's going to die on the table. Now in a wheelchair after two months in the hospital, Bill and Maria are on a journey they didn't plan I for. I think that if Bill knew everything, the trauma, the pain that I was going to have to go through every day for the last two months, See, I seeing did him so sick. I did that to her. That's my responsibility. I, I think he would have gotten vaccinated if he would have known how much pain it was going to cause. But I did that to, to you, and I apologize. If he had a chance to do it again, he'd do it differently. That mistake came that close to cost me my life. Getting so, so sick like this is so preventable. You know, most people who are vaccinated are not going to end up in this situation. Get the shot, get the vaccine, get on with your life. Don't take chances. They hope their painful memory will stop others from going down this path too. <laughs> I'm here, we made it. <laughs> I know.